Can you hear me, Mark? Yeah. Okay, just check. Right. <laughs> Won't take long. Uh, that's actually a lie, but just roll with it for a minute. Kenzie said that I couldn't drink until I gave the speech, so good luck, y'all. <laughs> Obviously, I'm joking. The dude in my glasses, though. I used the biggest font I could find, and still not. Because I'm not talking. <laughs> oh, I want you to truly enjoy the next five minutes. Which are also, in fact, the only five minutes that Mackenzie and Brennan couldn't, Brennan couldn't plan and have absolutely no control over. <laughs> Very hard. And with that in mind, I prepared a hilarious wedding speech for you guys. Well, that wasn't until Erin read it, and now she's making me read this one instead. <laughs> So, I just want to start by saying congratulations to Mr. and Mrs. McCain. I really, I'm going to go off script, script for just a minute. I hope everybody understands. First of all, they are the wedding planners. They did all the work that went into this. They're 23, 24 years old. They're 25. I forgot you. You were a little bit older. They're lying to me about his age when they first met. But anyway, <laughs> anyways, they did an amazing job. And I don't know if you know this, but there have been broken bones, flu, I mean, power outages. I mean, some that came from the power, traffic crashes. Y'all overcame a lot. And you guys kept, it was a really good testament to see how they're going to overcome all sorts of obstacles that life just happens to throw. And they did it together as a team. And now I have to say it's husband and wife. Great job. Woo! Right. Woo! So, you two were, uh, obviously I'm very happy to start with, uh, to see your new family. I would also like to acknowledge how these two are bringing together two much lar larger families, the McCain and the Kubicki families. And we seem to share a lot in common. Most importantly, we share a love for you two, and we want to help you. Yes. She seconds it. I feel very blessed to have gotten to know some of Brennan's family, and I look forward to getting to know you all much better in the upcoming years as we watch the McKenzie and Brennan family grow. We are all family now. Her bottles. Ella. Ella, where are you at? Outside. Oh, she's outside? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, Ella is very special today. She did a great job. And I hope she understands just how much Mackenzie loves her and how much the entire family that you just accepted into your life love her. Um, she's an amazing little girl. And if she were in here, I'd ask me to give her a round of applause. <laughs> Mackenzie, I can't believe how beautiful you look today. You wrote that before you even know what I look like. <laughs> <laughs> it's not on there. <laughs> Marriage is what brings us here today, but before there was a wedding, there was a daddy and a daughter. The minute, you got it. You got it. The minute I held a little girl, my arms. Come on, pops. I knew I would stop nothing. Lock it up. I'm not going to be able to see this. <laughs> yes. You were so sweet and innocent, and in my mind, you still are to this day. You were mine to protect at all costs. She has probably been upset with me at times, though, because I was very strict with her about not wearing a two piece bathing suit or, <laughs> or makeup till you're 21. Uh, yes. <laughs> Beating it into her head that she doesn't need a man. Uh, <laughs> after all, her parents were raising a strong, independent woman. Well, we can't. 
McKenzie, sweetheart, I'm so very proud of the woman you've become. It turns out someone very special yourself saw what an incredible person you are. You may not be the man, but we are so happy you found Brendan to share life with. I'm not even done with the first half of the first day. <laughs> 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 so then I need to drink and go to the bathroom and help yourself. <laughs> Whenever I look at you, Kenzie, I still see that little girl wearing Nana's dolls clothes. Wondering around chasing older brothers, throwing off the cuddle, or dancing your little heart out. You always had a caring and sweet nature. Some may see a shy little girl, but those of us that know you best know your inner strength and your determination. Maybe all fathers have a special bond with their daughters. I don't know, but I know that we do. I cherish your dad and daughter. Taking you to friends on trips with us. Or our almost daily phone call. You impress us with your ability to see the best in people. Your unconditional love and loyalty for your family. And you always drive to do what's right. You power through the tough times and make a minute to in, take a minute to enjoy whatever small moment presents itself in the moment. You have thoughtfully and responsibly accomplished so much at such a young age. Your family is so proud of you. Yeah. Well, the first time I heard about Brennan, I'm going to have to have to back this up. I actually came up with the ceremony. I was surprised. So, uh, a lot of times you'll hear me say we, because um, it took a family to raise Mackenzie, and, and the boys especially, my God. Um, but right now I'm going to use the term I, because I raised Kenzie to think that boys are the devil. <laughs> and if she brought one home, he may not make it out alive. Now, I say I did this alone, but I had backup. You ain't looking at me right now. But I had backup, and I appreciate that. So as she grew into the stunningly beautiful woman and progressed through high school, I realized she hadn't shared much with me about, like, boy interests. I was worried I may have pushed too much. <laughs> and then one day she told me she was going on a date with a young man that she met on a dating app. Now, you gotta understand, uh, I'm older, I'm a cop, so I hear a lot of, like, crazy stuff. And I was scared to death that she, like sweet little innocent girl that's made all these right decisions her whole life, decided to go out with a boy from a dating app. Um, but she had already proven herself to me over and over to be a smart girl that makes good decisions. And thank God I was wrong about that app and about that decision. And I was right about I'm trusting Mackenzie because that date was with Brennan. Whoa, whoa! When I met Brennan, I tried to be polite, but I needed to know what his deal was. <laughs> did, he have, did he have integrity? Would he treat my princess with dignity and respect? And what kind of father would he be should they ever get married? He was always very polite, respectful, and continues to be today. And well, here we are. The way you love Ella convinced me you were the guy. I wanted Mackenzie to be with. You have shown me over and over that you are a family man. A man of integrity, and you have the character and work ethic to be a strong, caring husband and father. When Kenzie is exhausting herself, worrying if everyone else in her life is okay, you take that minute to make sure she is okay. You remind her to breathe. I'm only halfway through the second page. <laughs> Brennan. And I have an ongoing joke between us because early in their courtship, the family met at a local campground and we were taking family pictures. And I'm like, no, dude, not you. <laughs> <laughs> I told him if he made it a full year, then I would let him be in our family photos. <laughs> Poor Brennan. Well, dude, you went up me on that one. Now I guess I gotta ask you for permission to be in your <laughs> That's what you get. <laughs> I couldn't be happier about that, though. So here's a couple words of advice from a guy who's still trying to figure it all out himself. Learn to listen. I don't want to know why these all seem to be directed at you, and that's because she can do no wrong, so I'm sorry. <laughs> that's right. You need to listen too, but it's really directed at you. Learn to listen. I didn't learn this one until just recently, but I may be still working, and I might still be working out, but sometimes when a woman shares a problem, 
He doesn't necessarily want you to fix it, but she just wants you to listen. Continue to, do, <laughs> continue to do unsolicited acts of kindness for one another. Buying a book that the church just spoke about or knocking out chores that are bringing stress into your spouse's life. Those are good examples, and I love the fact that they're ones that you've already done for one another. Please don't stop that. Do not demand anything of the other, but set agreed upon boundaries of whatever acceptable, whatever is acceptable for your marriage. Invest in your future. Your financial future is good. That's smart. But more importantly, invest time and energy in God and one another. Yeah. Prioritize God, each other, and your kids. In that order, then form your own little bubble and keep that safe. Putting one another first is tough when you have kids, but the best gift you can give your children is an example of how to love and respect your spouse. Your children will learn more about how you handle life from how you treat one another than anything else. When you get a chance, listen to Cody Johnson. Ain't nothing to it. Maybe we can play that. Because if you're lucky, you will see your blushing bride turn. A beautiful 35, 45, 55 and beyond. We have a couple good examples here. Your grandparents. 51 and 52 years. I expect that to be all. Damn right. <laughs> so Brennan, Kenzie's my baby girl. She is my Ella. Her whole life I prayed she would be, she would meet a sincere, respectful, honor, respectable, honor. Honorable young man, I really haven't said that. <laughs> that she could start a family with. Continue to be that type of man you want Ella to spend her life with. No pressure, man. <laughs> Brendan, I thank God that Kenzie found a man that is worthy of taking my little girl's hand. Yeah. The same little girl. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help it. <laughs> that same little girl that I swore to protect with every fiber of my being. I'm grateful knowing that she found that one person who can protect her, love her, grow up with her. This may not be the easiest job, but I promise it will be your most rewarding. I'd like to close with this. True love is arguably the theme of life. If you don't believe me, just ask Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not into Taylor Swift, you could See what God says about it. And God actually created us to love and be loved. We all know the Adam and Eve story. They are created to love and God and to love one another. So what's the infamous tree thing all about? It? It's actually kind of the most important part. Because love is an action. It is a choice you have to renew every single day. Someone can make you love them. Someone can make you love them. That isn't love. Today you made a commitment to one another before God and your family. Renew that vow every morning for the rest of your lives. Choose one another every day, every hour, every minute. And Brennan, the best part? Now you can kiss her whenever you want. <laughs> Even in front of me. We all have a toast to this beautiful McCain couple here and their future together. <laughs> Now would be the time to play that Welcome to the Family song. <laughs> Say, excuse me.
I remember the day Kenzie told me and Sav she made a Tinder, found a guy, thought, she, thought he was cute, and wanted to date with him to all of her. So thank you to Tinder and Taylor for helping my best friend find the love of her life. <laughs> with Brennan, Kenzie also got an Ella. Seeing their bond is such a beautiful thing to witness. It's like Kenzie was made for being a part of Ella's life. I remember the day Kenzie texted me, February 19, 2022, and said the thought of marrying Brennan doesn't scare me anymore. And here we are. I hope this day is everything you've imagined it to be and more. Thank you for letting me be part of it. You were the most beautiful bride. Here's to the McCain's. Woo! Oh, 
we doing side view? Hey, whatever y'all want to do. What are you guys doing? Here, you gotta tighten up back like yeah, sisters. Right. No, that's not right. Yeah, more crazy shit. Yeah, a little crazier. A little crazier on Just crazier? No, that's yeah, faces. Everybody, like that phone. <laughs> Let me know y'all ready. Are you Wait, are we doing real ones? <laughs> yeah, this is oh, real. real ha, 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 I probably have food in my teeth at this point. This is probably. Oh okay, right? What's on ah! Fucking oh, I, I thought so something frog. was. No, yeah, frog. No, I thought something was walking on my foot and it was the top of your. You see dress. how Robert and I hold the cameras? You see how Robert and I hold the yeah. cameras ready to go? Arms ready to fall off. Okay, all right, ready? Wait, am I close enough? Oh, I don't know, but she's like starting her stuff. One, one, two, look at that, three. Oh, good, pictures are just rolling. Beautiful, look at it. Give me sad, give me pouty. No, perfect. Yeah, give me happy. Yeah, yeah. Give me over the top moon. You're excited, you're happy, you're sad. I'm spent. <laughs> <laughs> okay.